hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. If you would like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. The link is on my website. Um, on my website also, just to let you know, there are uh, over well over a thousand recordings that you can stream free as well as download for free as well. So it might be worth a visit. The recordings are all organized and I'm all, I'm adding constantly as well. So uh, just to let you know, a bit of an apology for not having released one of these recordings for a few days, but had uh, had a chest infection. So it's quite hard to, <laughs> as you can imagine, uh, quite difficult to make recordings when I'm coughing. But I seem to be on the mend, so that's good. So I hope you're well. And as per usual, there may be the odd background sound, but that's okay because we're not aiming for silence here. Because otherwise you won't be able to hear me. So there may be background sounds either on the recording, on my end, or even on your end. You might have stuff going on. And my advice is just don't don't let it get in the way of you benefiting from listening to this recording. Whether you're listening to relax, whether you're listening to fall asleep. If you are listening to relax, I suggest you sit in a comfortable chair to support your body in the event of falling asleep. If you're listening because you want to go to sleep, then lying down on your bed would be uh, possibly a better option. But a warning, if you listen, you know, if you're relaxing, you're listening, lying down, there's a very good chance you'll fall asleep, uh, as well as even if you're sitting in a chair. So if there's something important that you need to be doing, you know, in an hour's time or something, then maybe set your alarm, but not too loud. You know, do it so that it doesn't jolt you, but just so it wakes you up, if that's what's required. Now I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and just get a sense of how you're feeling. First of all, physically. How are you feeling physically in your body? You can do like a quick scan uh, from the top of your head, noticing how your forehead feels and your eyes. Noticing how your jaw feels, your mouth, your tongue, your teeth, your gums, your neck your throat, the sides of your neck, which is an often almost ignored part sometimes when it comes to relaxation sessions, and the back of your neck, which is a part that I have a tendency of holding a degree of tension sometimes. And then just moving down, focusing on your shoulders, noticing your shoulders, And even though I'm not suggesting that you relax each and every part of your body that we focus on, you know, right now, you can maybe notice that those parts of your body automatically just start to let go. It's almost 
as if we just revert back to our natural state, which is feeling relaxed and calm. And now just focus in on your arms, the tops of your arms, you know, the uh, biceps, triceps, then your elbows, then moving down to your forearms, you know, the backs of your forearms, which are muscular, and then maybe the front, which well, might also be muscular, but usually fairly smooth. And then, of course, you've got your wrists. And then you've got your hands. So you focus on your hands. You've got the backs of your hands and the palms of your hands. Both feel different. And of course, there's your fingers. And sometimes what I like to do when I... When I'm getting in touch with a part of my body, I like to sometimes move the part a little bit. Um, I'm not like waving my arms around and my legs around and stuff, but you know, sort of with my fingers, I might move my fingers or if I'm focusing on my eyes, on my forehead, I may just raise my eyebrows or I may open my mouth a bit when I'm focusing on my jaw. Uh, you know, maybe raise my shoulders when I'm focusing on my shoulders. Sometimes you can, to get in touch with a large muscle group, let's say the top of your arms, you could just tense the muscles and just let them go. Just to get in touch with those parts of your body. Maybe bend your arms, twist your wrists a little bit, you know, just turn them a little bit. It's completely up to you. It's just about getting in touch with how you're feeling right now. And then as you move up to underneath your arms, your armpits and that's, a, again, another part that's often ignored when, it, when we go through relaxation. You know, it's, and it's, I don't know why, but it's worth, the, it's, it's just as worthy of attention as any other part of your body. So just notice in your armpits. And then as you move down the sides of your body, again another part which is maybe ignored a little bit. You've got the sides of your body where there's maybe uh, muscle, there may be fat. For me there's a fair bit of celluloid or whatever, I don't know, um, puppy fat that I've not quite worn off. And then, of course, you've got your chest. Just noticing how your chest feels. And your stomach. And every time you breathe, your chest and your stomach raises. So there's always movement in your chest and your stomach which means every time you breathe your chest and your stomach gets an opportunity to relax on its own and then you can focus on that part that leads between your neck, the back of your neck, and your shoulders. That part that leads, those muscles that lead across the top of your shoulders. 
to your shoulders. And then moving down your back, that whole area which basically would cover your lungs and your heart, that area, the first part of your back, the upper back, just noticing how it feels. Again, you can notice the, the rise and fall with every breath. could notice how it feels without trying to make it feel relaxed. There's a certain calmness that seems to just arise naturally. And this, this spine, of course, moves all the way down your neck, all the way down your body, the back, the middle of your back, all the way down to your hips. It's just there. Doesn't seem to do much, the fact is it does everything for you. The spine among the most important parts of your body. And the bit that sticks out in your back that you can feel the hard bits, that's what's protecting your spine. That's when you realize how fragile your body is and how you need to look after yourself and take care of yourself. And those muscles in your back, which are among the strongest muscles in your body, help to keep the spine in place and to protect your spine. as well, of course, as helping you to walk and to sit up straight and all the other things that your back does for you. And now you can focus on the middle of your back. I guess that part which would be pretty much kind of underneath your ribs or you know the lower rib section down to probably you know, maybe your belly button if you was to look at it from there so the middle of your back just noticing and if you feel you want to you could gently twist your body very gently in order to get in touch with that part of your body or I guess you could tense the muscles or if you're sitting down you could just lean forward very slightly or lean back very slightly to get in touch with not just that part of your back but the whole of your back. And now you can focus on your lower back. That part which is kind of the, the bottom of your spine, the 
part that really is very active, the muscle is very active when it comes to movement and walking, turning, balance. And you can just notice, again, when you breathe, the lower back raises gently. And you can notice how your how your lower back feels as you move down your lower back, noticing how it feels as it joins together with your hips. And you can notice now how your hips feel. Of course, there's lots of components to your hips, your buttocks, your groin, the tops, you know, of your legs fitting into your hips. Connecting the top of your body to the bottom of your body. And just noticing that area of your hips. I just want to focus just on the back, the part of your back, the lower back, that leads into your buttocks, into your bum. But you've got those nerves. And it's quite a sensitive area. That's that area that leads into the buttocks. That part which basically joins your back to your buttocks. And it's a really good feeling when it's being stretched when your lower back and your buttocks feel relaxed. Because again, the hips are used so much that they really maybe don't get the attention that they require or that they deserve. And as you focus on your buttocks, focus in on how they feel. You may choose to tense your buttocks in order to, like you do the muscles in your arms. just to get an idea of the feeling in them. And now as we focus on the front, that area moving from below your belly button all the way down to your groin. Again, that can be a sensitive area. But also an area that almost, I guess, hidden away. But, you know, if you're wearing clothes, like most people do, if you're wearing a belt or you're wearing tight pants, 
can be quite constricted along the belt line, which is why it can feel so nice and freeing when you get home and you take your trousers off and you can feel almost as if that part of your body is breathing. It's a very freeing experience. So if you're able to not restrict that area, able to maybe wear pants or a belt that's, you know, a little bit looser, not too tight, allowing that area to just breathe a bit. You may feel more relaxed for it. And then as you move down to the groin area, the genitals, again an area that's not normally really mentioned in relaxation sessions, but we all have them. And Again, they're an important part of our body. And they require or need to be acknowledged and to be able to relax the same as every other part. Again, we're just focusing on that area and just noticing how you feel there. And now we're going to focus on another important part that's normally not really mentioned again in doing a lot of stuff that's not mentioned we're going to focus on your anus millions of people have problems with that part of their body and it's a part that can hold a lot of stress a lot of tension so all we're going to do is just focus on that area. For no other reason other than maybe it's something you don't normally do. And there's nothing weird about it. It's no different to focusing on your feet or your knees. It's a part of your body. Well, in fact, it's more important than your feet or your knees. Way more important. So maybe it's time to start acknowledging that. Giving it the respect. And just focusing on how that part of your body feels right now and maybe you've noticed a sense of relaxation and comfort just by mentioning and focusing on that part of your body and as you just move down the sides of your hips. Noticing how you feel in the sides of your hips. And again, maybe if you wanted to turn your body a little bit, just to get in touch with the 
physical sensations that you feel in the sides of your hips right now. And as you move down your hips, pretty much to the bottoms now, you've got the gaps in your hips where your legs fit into those gaps. Where your legs attach to your hips to that whole midsection. Almost like a perfect jigsaw puzzle. Which means we can now focus on your legs starting with the tops of your legs the thighs and the thighs are pretty much the one of the strongest muscles that you have and it's worth remembering that If anyone says that they have, they don't have strong legs, you can just remind them that they do in fact have very strong legs because anybody that can walk has extremely strong legs. You have to, to be able to support the weight of the body. Our legs, everybody's legs have to be very very strong and there's a front the front thighs you may wish to tense them if you choose or just notice how they feel right now Move into the backs of your thighs. That part that leads on from your buttocks. All the way to the crease underneath your knee. And then you've got the sides, the outsides of your thighs. And then it's the inner thighs. Focusing on your inner thighs. Now, moving down to your knees, just noticing how your knees feel right now. Again, if you choose, you could move your leg a little bit. Just again, touch with your knees. And that feeling of the 
the skin underneath your knees in the the part of your leg that bends it's usually quite soft fairly sensitive skin and now focus in on the bottoms of your legs, your lower legs, starting with your shins. You may find it easier to focus on your shins if you move your feet around, it might allow you more access to the feelings of your shins. Now focus in on your calf muscles. If you choose, you can tense your calf muscles gently just to get in touch with those feelings. As you move down to your ankles, noticing the feelings in your ankles right now. And if you feel you need to turn your feet a little bit in order to get in touch with the physical sensations of your ankles then you can do that if it helps Focus in on your feet, starting with that part, the top of your feet, moving from your ankle across the very top that leads to the tops of your toes. Just being aware of how that part feels. Now the sides of your feet. The sides, either side, the you know, pretty much part of your ankles, and that can be quite a sensitive area. The part that's 
feels like it's part of the heel, the back of your foot. Just noticing how your feet are, are made up of so many different parts. Focus in now on the sides of your feet, the outsides and the insides, the inner step. to the bottoms of your feet, starting by focusing on your heels, the part of your foot where the skin is fairly tough, just noticing that feeling. And then there's this part of the bottom of your feet that stretch all the way until you get to the next bit of skin that's quite tough, which is just before your toes. But that part between those tough bits of skin Can feel quite sensitive at times. May even feel a sense of stretching. A sense of peacefulness in your feet. As you now move to that, that area, which is kind of padded, as I said, it's tougher skin than the rest of the foot, other than the heel, it's the part that you would, that would be on the floor if you were standing on your toes. Rest in that part. And now as we focus on your toes. Noticing how your toes feel, and you may wish, you may wish to just gently move your toes around in order to get the physical contact with each toe. You 
got the tops of your toes. That first part that leads from your foot into the first joint in your toes. And then you've got the next part of your toe which leads to the next joint. got the sides of your toes the bottoms of your toes Sin. Being aware of maybe not really. to be aware of anything and I count down from ten down to one number allows you to Deeply. And maybe drift drift.
hin. Nein. Eight. Seven. Yeah.